Why, hello there. Today we have something a little more utilitarian. A belt. So this is the hybrid EDC belt, EDC meaning everyday carry. This is by Blue Alpha Gear, originally funded on Kickstarter. So you may be thinking, Ryan, what's so special about a belt? Well, that's a good question. So this belt has a special buckle called a cobra buckle. So some common places that the cobra buckle is used is in military equipment or my dad was just mentioning that it's used in firefighting equipment. The thing that's great about the cobra buckle is that it's great for quick connections and quick releases. However, the buckles themselves have always been too big to fit easily through belt loops. So. What Blue Alpha Gear did, they created a smaller buckle that should easily fit through belt loops and allow you to still have that Cobra buckle. So the buckle itself is made from lightweight 7075 aircraft aluminum with a breaking point of over 2,000 pounds. The belt itself is a double layer of 4015 nylon webbing with a breaking point of over 4,000 pounds. So I mean, this belt is a pretty darn sturdy thing that you should never really have any problems with. As you can see, pretty strong, stronger than me. I can't do anything to it. <laughs> Though I'm sure my knife could, I'm not gonna attempt that because that would be wasteful. One of the nice things about it being this super thick sturdy nylon is that unlike leather belts, it won't sag when you have any number of cases or holsters hanging on here, so you won't have that issue. So I noticed that on the buckle itself, it has some markings of how to connect and release the buckle itself. As you can see, pushes in real quick and then releases. And it's actually really smooth. Could basically just play with this all day. These belts are handmade in the USA. I know a lot of you Americans love handmade in the US, well, maybe, Maybe not even handmade, just as long as it's made in the US. You know, you love it. It's time to try it on, see how it feels. Here I'm noticing, as you can hear, there is Velcro here, the rough Velcro on the strap and the soft Velcro on the outside. And so that is going to allow for adjustment in size. So that actually gave me about I'd say an additional four inches. As you can see, that just, that's perfect size. It goes right through there. So the female end goes in fine. The male end is a, a bit big, but I can maneuver it in. It's just a little more difficult. Take it down, pass it around. One more belt loop on the pants. One thing I've noticed that this outside strap that basically Velcro's on, keeps getting stuck on the belt loop and won't go through, so that's something just kind of need to be aware of. Okay, so this is a little tight for me. What's nice is that you can tighten it just by not even taking it off. Just pull it a little tighter or loosen it up a little bit. You know you eat a little too much at a, at a big party and you just gotta loosen your belt a little bit. Pretty easy to do, you don't have to look like a creeper unbuckling your belt, that's always a plus. <laughs> and just to be sure, I have my holster here with my handgun. Ooh, look at that. That is one nice fit. As you can see, that's holding it perfectly. It's not pulling the belt down at all and it's, Look at that, that is awesome. And then pop it out. Pop it in and it holds it real tight because it's so thick, it holds onto it incredibly well. So it's not like it's just gonna fall off, like it may happen on a leather belt that's really skinny. That's an incredible fit, I love it. So I mean, for being something as basic as a belt this is a pretty spectacular belt i'm really impressed with the quality of it though it is a more tactical belt per se it still looks good enough and smooth enough that you could wear it as a dress belt you could wear it with your suit you could wear it with just some khakis and a button down 
In fact, that's probably what I'm going to be wearing to work for the next week or so. All in all, really impressed with the quality of this. Again, I know I keep saying that, but it is, it's excellent. So the retail price of this hybrid EDC belt is $69.97 US dollars. Would I purchase it now that I've tried it? I would. I've seen belts out there, like tactical belts that are meant more for if you're carrying a gun or if you have a lot of stuff on your belt, like a utility type belt, that are from $60 to $120. So for just under $70 for a belt of this good of quality, absolutely. I've been looking for a good belt and I think this might be the one. Like I said, I'm excited to start using this and then uh, look forward to giving you feedback in the month and video of what my thoughts are once I've been using this for a little while. So if you've been in the market for something along the lines of a tactical belt or an EDC belt, a good sturdy EDC belt, you might want to check these guys out. Blue Alpha Gear, they seem to know what they're doing. P.S. This video is not sponsored. I purchased this with my own money and I'm just reviewing it in case you are wondering. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you carry with you every day? Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And on that note, we will see you guys next week. Bye.